Hey, La Pavoni friends, John Houck here. I uh, just want to state what uh, Bong said about his sleeve modification, but I want to kind of um, say the same thing he did, but uh, with, with a CAD model to kind of illustrate what he was uh, explaining. So again, I went to uh, bit.ly, sorry, bit.ly slash La Pavoni and that gets you to this CAD model here. And what we're gonna do is look at the sleeve modification that uh, Bong is suggesting today. So um, uh, what he's suggesting is we uh, modify the sleeve on the group head generation three uh, to better um, use all the water that's been cooled in the group head before the, uh, adding the hot water from the boiler uh, to a sh shot of espresso, and I think it makes a lot of sense. So um, here's our Generation 3 group head, and we're going to take a quick peek inside in terms of its original design from the factory. So we'll again, uh, you've seen me do this many times. I'm going to pull this towards us just a little bit. And show you here is the water coming in from the boiler, which is hot. Uh, it fills up the group head, fills up this area between the sleeve and the inside of the group head, which extends all the way around here. And Bong's uh, research shows that the cooler water over here, which we would love to have be part of our espresso shot, is not going down this channel hole here and coming out this hole right here to brew our coffee. It just is stagnant, he says over there, and he makes a really good point about that. So um, what does he suggest to do? He suggests that we file a little bit off the top of the group head here, or uh, I'm sorry, of the sleeve right here. He also suggests we remove this channel and the third thing he suggests we do is we lower this hole by cutting it down by uh, three quarters of a millimeter. And what I will do is I will show you what that does. And then also when you screw it in then, um, uh, because the threads are, uh, it's one and a half millimeters per threading rotation of the sleeve, um, the hope is that you can screw it in one more half turn, which would then put this water channel uh, not on the neck, neck side, which he says, um, but 180 degrees from that, which would be over on this side. So let me go ahead and choose his, uh, I'm calling it the top file uh, version. And you'll see now what, uh, this is the new modified sleeve according to his specifications. So what we did here on this side is we cut the channel off and you can see kind of the remnants of the channel. You can see that the hole uh, is a little bit more elongated. This is the top of the original hole. Let's kind of go in here. Hopefully you don't get too sick. Uh, this is the top of the original hole. And then down here is the uh, extra hole down here at the bottom. And the reason he puts that there is so that way when you raise up the piston all the way, the water can come out. And if you don't cut that, then the water doesn't come out all the way. Now this model shows that the hole is almost completely uncovered the original hole, but probably in reality, you probably only raise the piston maybe this much. And so you get partial water coming out. So that's why he suggests you uh, take that little hole and, and whittle it down. Again, the whole sleeve, because we filed the top part of the sleeve, took three quarters of a millimeter out, the whole sleeve screws in another uh, another half turn. Uh, screwing in another half turn raises it up uh, three quarters of a millimeter. Therefore, we cut the hole down a little bit. But the whole benefit of this then is that the water to enter the group head is over here on the, the opposite the group head. So that way, as this water in the group head, which is cooler, enters the brewing chamber, the hot water coming out of the supply pipe uh, is kind of following the cooler water. And that's his whole point is he doesn't want the hot water from the boiler to go right into the, the brew chamber, but he wants, he calls that the second flow or the second wave, which is kind of a cool word. Um, he wants the first wave of water, which is the 92 degrees Celsius water to get in first, and then follow that by the hotter water coming from the, <clears throat> from the boiler. Excuse me. So 
Um, so in general, your, your total brew temperature of the combined water, which is I think like two thirds of the, the first wave water, which has been sitting here cooling, and one third of the hotter water uh, gives you a much, uh, much more appropriate lower temperature for, um, for brewing. So again, what he suggests to do is take, uh, take uh, three quarters of a millimeter off the top there, uh, lower that hole, and um, why does he say to take this channel off? And my suspicion is um, you have to take the channel off to get this hole lower, because if you take the hole lower, it breaks through the bottom of the channel there. So um, he's like, well, might as well just take the channel off if we're going to punch a hole in there, and it kind of makes sense. So hopefully um, that makes sense. So let's go back and look at the original one again, so you can see what that looks like. The original design, we have the, the channel over here on the side uh, with, the, with the hole over here. And um, in fact, it kind of looks a little funky the way I've got it sectioned here. Um, let's go ahead and put that, pull, pull that, push that a little bit back so you can kind of see inside the channel. Uh, the water originally flows down here and through the hole. And then um, you can see then as we close this up that the whole hole is actually inside this channel. So the water has to kind of go up and down. So what he's doing is he's removing that channel, um, filing a little bit off the top, and you can see why he wants you to file off the top, because this is hitting the top already, so you can't turn it, screw it in another half turn. So screw it in another half turn, uh, punch that hole in, and uh, you have Bong's uh, a new, new modification. I think Bruce is writing up a, a document for that in the Facebook group. So uh, thank you, Bong. Thank you, Bruce. And uh, I know, Tudor, you've had a lot to do with this too. So awesome work, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.